Hello everybody, it is a time of promotion on the Hebrew calendar and this is so exciting. God is doing so many amazing things. We are now into the month of August. We are approaching August 8th, which is the day of new beginnings in the month of new beginnings, 8-8. Eight, eight. And so you have passed through 8-8 eight, eight, and now we are stepping in to the amazing things that God has for us as we move into the Hebrew New Year, which is 5782. That starts at Rah Hashanah on sundown, September 6th. God's got a big year ahead of us. It's the year 5782 that starts in September. That's 5782. That is the, the year of grace, five, the year of perfection, seven, the year of new beginnings, eight, and then the number two, double. And yes, the Lord's laid on my heart that double glory is coming in 5782. I know we've been through a tremendous amount of weights, pressures, trials, temptations, difficult circumstances. The last year and a half has been very, very hard health-wise, economically. Um, there's just been so much that has been going on, but the Lord is preparing us for a release of double glory. Yes, whenever glory comes in, it comes in because there's been a crushing, there's been a pulverization, there's been people that are stepping into identity in Christ and not identity in themselves or what they're doing. If you've noticed, I'm sure you've had some things that have happened in your life where you've had to transition jobs, you've had to transition economically, you've had to transition in relationships. It's been a very transitional year. And so with that, the Lord is stretching us and he is crushing us in some ways but he's doing it to raise us up and to promote us and so i just want to encourage you the lord laid a scripture on my heart and this is from uh first uh, second kings chapter 2 verse 9 i want to read this to you right now and it came to pass when they had gone over that elijah said to elisha ask what i shall do for you before I am taken away from you. And Elisha said, I pray thee let a double portion of your spirit be upon me. And he asked, uh, e Elijah said, you've asked a hard thing. Nevertheless, if you see me when I am taken from you, it shall be so unto you. But if not, it shall not be so. Now, let me just tell you this. We know that this is in regards to mantles. And so we know that Elisha asked Elijah for a double portion of his spirit. And Elijah was like, listen, if you see me, this will happen. Well, guess what? The word says that his eyes were opened, Elisha's eyes were opened, and he saw. And that word see is the word visions. He saw visions. He saw the chariots. He saw the horsemen. And then he saw the mantle fall. And when the mantle fell, a double portion of that mantle glory and that mantle splendor fell upon him. Now that's really powerful because that means that this is what's coming. See, this is a prophetic word for now here in the month of August. As you are being promoted, God is positioning you during this time and season. It's Teshuva. It's a time of praying and fasting and preparing our hearts for the new year 5782. During this Teshuva time, time of repentance, we are getting ready for some double glory. So I want you to properly position yourself because God is getting ready to move in a mighty way, but he needs you to begin to seek him for what you can see in the supernatural. See, we ask for the glory of the Lord to be released. We ask for these amazing things, but we have to have eyes to see. You have to have eyes to be able to see into the supernatural and to have uh, visions released to you. And so I just want to pray for you right now because I know you're hungry for this. You're hungry to step into 5782 and receive double glory. And now during this promotion time, God is properly positioning you with a new mantle. I'm really, really excited because this new mantle, all right, is going to have a double with it after the new year. So prepare your heart. Uh, relent unto the Lord. Seek his face as he brings you into that place of knowing him more and knowing your identity in him. Anybody that carries a very strong mantle carries a mantle first in understanding their identity in Christ. So make sure you take time to do that. Make sure you take time to position yourself to know and understand who you are in Christ. 
The Apostle Paul thought that to be very, very important, so important that most of his letters are talking about understanding our identity, understanding our positional authority, understanding our delegated authority from heaven, our dunamis power, our exousian power, how we're seated with Christ in heavenly places. If these are things you don't understand, you need to be learning more about that so that you are equipped to walk in miracle working power and the delegated authority of God. So let me just pray for you right now. Father, I thank you for my friend who's watching, Lord. I thank you that New Year is approaching us on September 6th at sundown. I thank you, Father. We will prepare our hearts here in this month of August. You have promoted us. We wear new mantles, Father, but we want the double. We want the double glory. We want mantles of splendor and glory to come forth upon us, Lord Jesus. We want a year of glory. And so we are preparing ourselves, Father, and we praise you and we thank you. Open up our eyes that we might see, that we might see vision, see into the supernatural, know what you're doing so we can meet you. Christ saw into the supernatural and he said that, that he comes to do the Father's will. We want to do your will. We want to see in the spirit. We want to know your word. We want to be transformed. Let us see. Let us hear the word so our faith is increased. Let us smell the fragrant aromas of you, Lord Jesus. Let us taste and see that the Lord is good. Smell, taste, and touch, and let us touch you, Father. Lord, we love you. We praise you. We thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, who died, buried, resurrected, overcame sin, death, and the grave, and properly positioned us as an ascension church. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that we're coming up on this double portion time, and we want to be a part of it. You see, between Passover and Raha Shoshana, anything that you receive during that portion will double itself after Raha Shoshana to Passover 2022. And so, Father, we praise you and we thank you that you are positioning us to carry the weights of that mantle glory, Lord Jesus. And with that, meaning the, the strength and the power to carry out the promotion that you've given us. We want to run farther and faster. We want to be more submissive to you. We want to understand our identity in Christ more. We want to be able to move as you move. See what you see. Hear, smell, taste, and touch what you do. Have our prayers activated. And we want to activate the angels of fire. The blue angels, the red, orange, yellow angels come alongside us that we might participate with them by faith, that when we speak, which is the Hebrew word kol, that word kol comes forth, and then we are able to step in to knowing we are participating with angels by faith. And so, Father, I praise you and I thank you. Let those people watching this video right now step into that place of being the voice of the Lord. You have his word. You have the sound of your voice, which is his voice, which is coal, the Hebrew word coal. When it goes out, a spark comes and boom, those angels come. So Father, I thank you for all this activation in the spirit. And I thank you that we're stepping into double glory in 5782. All right, share this with a friend. Hashtag double glory. It's coming. Hallelujah.